make a motion to ratify the appointments made to the outreach committee. I'm sorry. No, I'm very good. This is in To the outreach committee. All, the, all those in favor say aye and raise your hand. Aye. All those against say no and raise your hand. We were supposed to have discussion after the motion was seconded. It was supposed to offer it, but there's no discussion. Is there any public discussion? No. All those in favor say aye and raise your hand. Aye. The motion to ratify the outreach committee. We have a motion to ratify the outreach committee. All those in favor say aye and raise your hand. Aye. All those in favor say no and raise your hand. Abstentions. Okay. 13 zeros are all in favor. Motion passes. I ask to belabor the problem, Madam President, point of interest. I say aye or raise my hand. The new recording secretary is going to have to learn something here. Okay. I will say both. I'll say both. We need to. I have the, the floor here, young man. Actually, you didn't have the floor because I did a point well, of interest. We need to dispense with the I bid, and he needs to verify who voted and who didn't. I didn't raise my hand and say aye. Okay. You know? Please raise your hand. And, I, mean, you I don't want to say aye. That's my, that's my First Amendment right. So, what? <laughs> So if if you don't speak, I mean, he can't count your votes. I have a right to speak or not, but I raise my hand. That he needs to stand up and count the hands. I'm sure he'll be. I have my I have my right to not stand up. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Move forward. Thank you. Mr. Chavez, please, when you don't have a floor, you, I, I'd ask that you don't speak, especially into the microphone. Thank you. Okay, are we done? Okay, we're going to move on to item number six, appointing of the chairs of each of the committees. Uh, discussion of possible action regarding the appointment of committee chairs to be chosen from the standing committee members of the LA 32 standing committees listed on page 12, article 7, committees and their duties, section 1, A through F of the LA 32 bylaws. Again, we're only pointing the five um, chairs to the five committees that were just named. Budget and finance per the bylaws, the chair needs to be the treasurer, that would be Michelle Presantin. Land use, um, It's in the bylaws. It's in the bylaws, isn't it? Can you read the bylaws? Do you have a record? Thank you. 
Okay, again, because there's some ambiguity in the bylaws, we're going to go ahead and ratify each of the chairs just to be on the safe side because there's a couple of um, interpretations. The first of the bylaws is that the motion to ratify the appointed chair of the Budget and Finance Committee. I mean, I guess that one we don't have to because that's in the bylaws, right? Okay. We should as well like to make a motion to ratify the chair of the Land Use Committee. In our chair. Second, anybody? We have a public comment. Uh, Mr. Uh, Manzano. Say no and raise your hand. Abstentions? One abstention. 12 0 1. Motion passed. I would like to make a motion to ratify the appointment to the, the appointment of the chair to the education committee. Second, ratify the Business Economics uh, Committee Chair. Say aye and raise your hand. Aye. All those against, say no and raise your hand. Abstentions? Okay. Motion passes, 13 0 0 
motion to ratify the outreach committee chair. All those in favor say aye and raise your hand. Aye. All those against say no and raise your hand. Abstentions? Motion passes. 13 zero. Andrade. I would like to I would like to make a motion to move on the agenda item number ten for discussion and action regarding the LA thirty two operational expenses to um, to right now to number seven on the agenda rather than number ten. I second the motion for the college. Oh, you want me to, so there's this, you want me to discussion right now? I got a motion now. Attachment A, 
The operational expenses will be paid with the LA32NC funds that remain. Just to clarify and to piggyback off of what Capricia said, these are not funds that are going to the community. These are funds that were frozen from the prior board and are not being allowed to, to use for community expenses events. Anything that they were originally intended to use. What happens to these funds is they go back to um, the general fund of the city, which could be used in a, a number of capacities over time, workers' comp, uh, you know, city, city related expenses. Um, nothing to do with communities, nothing to do with this community. Um, so. Finishing up watching the videos 
and the quiz, but the quiz needs to be submitted. So I don't think that me completing the funding or completing the ethics training, I completed the funding training at RLA. But as far as the ethics training, I don't think it's going to be approved because some of it have had to receive the email and process it and do the whole bit, correct? So it, it yes, if you have your certificate, you completed the training. Uh -huh. If there's still questions as to whether or not, my suggestion would be that you don't work on it, just to be on the safe side. Yeah. Um, if you submitted your, your <laughs> if, you, if you have submitted your quiz, it takes our office about three to five business days uh -huh. to get that to you. So, um, Baker? Uh, yes, um, just for clarification, um, Madam President, uh, can you give me a list of the board members who have, have taken the ethics training? Um, I know you sent an email out saying that uh, some of us weren't in compliance, so I would just like them before we go forward with this, what board members can vote and what board members can vote. Right, okay, so I did get, I got an updated list, um, and I did email the people that were um, still showing us not completing the training. I haven't gotten a re-update on the list. However, I think it's up to, I mean, it's up to the onus of each board member to know whether or not they've completed the training, and I hope that you'd be honest in, in your approach to voting if you have, have or haven't completed the training. So we'll, we'll go ahead and get a count prior to the vote of who has completed it and, not, and has a, a certificate, who has completed it and has not received their certificate so that they can vote provisionally, and who cannot vote because they have not completed the training at all. Mr. Chavez. You know, it's on the honest uh, thing for each, every one of us. But nevertheless, um, done in track, it, uh, who has taken it or not, let's say there's 10 people say yay, but there's only seven that could have voted, they'll catch that and it, it, it disallow whatever was approved by the board. Is that correct, Dan? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So, so be honest and don't cheat, you guys. We're all under oath, Mr. Todd. Uh, can, can we can we go forward with some discussion on the operational wish list? Wish list. Are there any public comments? Actually? Number ten.
Okay, just for example, I heard Cynthia tell me, Michelle tonight, that we had a time clock, and Michelle didn't know the time clock to back the room over there. Okay? We're jumping a gun here, and realistically, I think the department and the president here need to be the transparent how this stuff is evolving so fast. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. And, and, you know, I did mean to include this in, in my discussion that any item that is returned from the previous board, which we have been unable to get so far, will absolutely not be repurchased and will be scratched off the list. And just the same goes for like a timer that now we've been made aware that there's a timer. So, of course, we, we don't need a second timer. So, these are, and we have done the proper inventory, and these are the items that were missing and in need. So, as, they, as they're returned, then we will go ahead and remove them from the list. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lynn McGuire, and I'll right. turn in my card as soon as I get it. I have a bunch of people that I want to talk, so. Okay, but go ahead, because you're up there, so just hand us the card when you're done. Um, I just kind of want to uh, piggyback on what Scott said, although I hope my phone is a little different. Um, I just, I appreciate the wish list that you all have created, but I know that we do have a lot of this, this, these items in storage, wherever they, they are, and I just think it's a little, uh, if we kind of, if, the board reviews what they have and audits what they have, then this does will look so huge and unnecessary to some of some stakeholders that are looking at it like, why do I like? So that's all I want to know. Thank you, Mrs. Yes. Can I address just uh, what the two stakeholders We're not, no, no we're not, we're not discussing what the, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead, everyone. So we next we have Mr. Pacheco. Um, uh, to, to keep maintenance on it also costs money. 
because you, they ruin, they don't know how to wrap cables correctly. Um, people that would co come out over here and operate it, they would only operate it once and never show up again. We are a professional uh, sound company and we're here within your borders. We would love to uh, be your uh, uh, provider uh, company of choice and uh, we're recording the evening tonight um, and what we would like to do in the future also is if you give us a little bit more, um, I would go out and get a video camera worthy enough to go on, use for online and uh, stream uh, live the actual uh, meetings. So a second. What, what really quickly um, capable of doing is that if we stream it, uh, let's say people that can't come, they could be in their homes watching, watching this and answer you back. We have capabilities here now that you can use to stream back and answer these people at home. So therefore you got outreach, what you've been complaining about for, for decades. And you don't even have to go out of this building. So I, I'm, um, I'm giving you a proposal. Two minutes, two minutes. I'm giving you a proposal of, of what it would cost without the video. Two minutes. I'm sorry, your time is up. So sorry. Okay. So you, I'm sorry, but uh, maybe more than two minutes. Yeah. So sorry. Next up, we have Mr. Manzano. Good evening, directors. I'm going to make this really simple and short. I have a ton of notes on your guys' wish list over here. You have several stakeholders here still watching, actually recording, and some of us even videotaping. One is, all those people who were excluded from receiving the email for the executive committee, you guys should not be voting in favor of this because of the exclusion of the posting item. Second is, everything on this item, we confirm with the done representative over there, has to be itemized. There is no blanket voting on one vote for every single thing on here because if a stakeholder or even you guys wish to reconsider your votes, which I'll be checking with the city attorney because I know the rules already. You have to go through each item individually. So if you guys don't do that, trust me, you have a fourth or fifth reading coming. Another thing is agenda item number 